Hi everyone and welcome to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and I'm excited to tell you today how you can build your own digital journal with a single click of a button. Well, maybe a few more clicks because you can choose different options what you want to have in there. However, what this means, I will show you in detail just after a little trailer I made for you, which explains already a lot what you can do with the Digital Journal Designer. So check this out and we talk about the different topics after. All right, I think this showed you already what you can do with the Digital Journal Designer. And before we deep dive now into the Digital Journal Designer, the options you can choose in the future outlook and the pricing, I want to thank you, my beta testers, my pre-order people who actually supported this project. It wouldn't have been possible without you guys and girls out there. Thank you very much for your support. Your feedback has been essential to make it a great product right at the launch and we are excited to keep working on this product and give you all the features that you requested during the beta and i can tell you there's much more to come when it comes to the digital journal designer but now let's have a look for all of you who don't know what this is how this actually works to create your own digital journal all right, if you're on the website paperlessmovement.com, you have the shop section here and you just simply click on to Digital Journal Designer. That's all you need to do and you will go directly to the product page and you can start designing your digital journal. And in order to do this, you see already the general preview button that you saw in the trailer before and it will generate you uh, the first two pages with the standard setup. So you see already this journal belongs to Paperless Movement user and so on. All you need to do now is start bringing in the information you want. And with the new scribble feature in the iOS 14, I can just write down my name here. And there we go. And it's already in there. And I can just press the generate preview button again. And now it generates the first page with, the, with my name in place. So we can go to the next section, basic layout and we can choose landscape, for example. So that's the orientation of your digital journal, depending on how you hold your iPad. So I'm using it a landscape usually, so that's why I'm reusing landscape. And then you can choose the month date. And here I choose July because it's July. I don't want to have January 2020 right now. I want to start in July or let's say August because we're already in July. So I want my digital journal to start in August and then only six months until the end of the year. So that's fine for me. So in any step, you can always just click onto the generate preview button to see how it looks like um, so far with the options you have chosen. So you see this is grayed out and that makes absolutely sense because we just picked from August six months from then. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's January 2021 here. And the rest is grayed out. If I go for 12 months, it would be reflected here in the preview as well. So you would get, a, you will get a yearly view and also the pages correlated to this for 12 months. So let's stay with 12 months. Let's go to advanced layout. And here we 
can choose now if we want to have daily views, weekly views, monthly views, because I know some of you don't need daily views, for example. They just make weekly calendars or monthly calendars. So now you have the option to really pick the things that you need and also only pay for these things. So in my case, I will show you all the options. And um, just let's generate again the preview. And you saw this in the trailer as well. What this happens then, it adds a new page. So you can see so you can see the daily page. You can zoom in here on the iPad. It's also possible on the desktop. And that's a whole site. But we have also a top section here. So if we add this, it will just add the typical top section you might be used from when you used my digital channel before um, to have this here, this top section. And this helps you for sketch notes and for a little summary. A lot of you loves this, love this top sections, but I also know that some of you don't need it. So that's why you have the option there as well. And now a really important feature. You can pick now lines and the different sizing of the lines, the line heights, but you also can now switch to grid and also dotted. And there's a lot more of templates we are planning to bring into the Digital Journal Designer to make it even more customizable. So for now, I will go for the grid and let's see how this will be reflected when we go to the Generate Preview button again. And there we go, we have the gridded pages, the gridded page. All right, and then we go on and then say we want to have a weekly view here and we are presented with new options already. So now you can also choose when the week should start. Should it start on Monday or Sunday? And this will also be reflected in a monthly view. So let me show what, uh, what this means. Let's say we want to start on Sunday and then you also can choose the timing. So let's, let me show what this means. When I generate a new preview, you will get now the weekly view page presented. So there we go. And uh, it shows you August and this is all gray now. Okay, so the reason is because August starts on a Saturday and see, you see here's the 1st of August and it shows you the week view. So in order, so you're not using this space because it's on the other, it's in uh, July, the week of July, you have this. As soon you switch here later on when you have the digital channel to another week, obviously you will have the whole week. So let's see when I change this to, and you, and you see it starts on Sunday. Let me switch this to Monday and let's see how this will be reflected then. And here we go. You see now it starts on Monday and it also adds these two uh, days on the end and it makes sense Saturday and Sunday we have August in there. So this works perfectly fine. So as soon we add now timings, you see here there are no times. So that's an option. You can write in your own times in there. But if you want to have pre-populated some timings, I offer you some um, time frames here. So let's say um, I want to add information from 8 to 10 p.m. for example. And then we also include the monthly view now. Let's see how this will look like. There we go. Here's the monthly view and you see it starts on Monday. It's also reflected here in gray, which is the part of Gen uh, July. And all these numbers will be clickable. As soon as you download it, you can jump to the daily view of these numbers. And here in the end, you see it ends on Sunday. So the same is for, for the weekly view. And you see now all the times are added to the weekly view. Okay, now we go to extras and these are extra pages you might don't need, but it's nice to have. So I will just activate all of them and again, just click the generate preview button to see what it means. And you can see that it added a to-do list page and there will be check marks, check boxes actually in the, in the downloadable version. So we have to add this to the preview here on the iPad version. If you're on the desktop version, you will see these checkboxes. These are just little uh, glitches there, but it doesn't mean that it will be reflected in the final version. So don't worry, as soon you have this 
you will have checkboxes that you can check off and you also have uh, highlights and milestone sections. But this means it will add here on top two new buttons, one to jump directly to the to the to do list and the other one to jump to your goals and highlights section. So this allows you to quickly access your to do list from any page you are on. And you see also on the to do list, you have a button where you can jump back. This actually means it will jump back to the yearly overview. That's just uh, the way that can be implemented in these styles of digital journals. Uh, it actually isn't possible to make it jump back to the page you're coming from. That's just a technical uh, a restriction in technology that we can't overcome here. And here as well in the project sections, it, this is also uh, still in the works. Uh, it's a glitch. If you have a look at the desktop version, it shows properly. You have actually for each project one sections where you can write in the the project name and when you download it everything will be there don't worry about this and as soon you tap on the a you will jump to project a and all the other projects and you can write into here your projects add new pages and so on so that's really awesome and now a very important part you have right now two different options so which is the bright uh, version and we have the dark mode version so let's see how this looks like you saw this in the, the trailer as well um, now we can just switch easily to the dark mode version. And during beta, we had actually a color picker, so you could choose your own colors. However, we realized that it wasn't as easy for you to pick the right color so it makes it looking good. So what we will do now in the future, and in the near future actually, I will add a lot more color palettes. So presets that really gives you different options there. I'm also working on new buttons and, and completely different styles that you can choose from right here. But if you have any suggestions for some color palettes or something that you really want to have in there, just go to the website, go to, to the chat box here and just start writing to me. I will directly get these messages and reply to them. Um, we also have a roadmap in place. So we will add all the feature requests there and really make this whole thing properly and see how the demand for different features is to bring it into the product. So it couldn't be, it can't work without your feedback. So I thank you very much. And especially when I go to the reviews here, um, the first reviews coming in for the digital journal designer, it is just awesome. Um, how awesome the feedback so far is for the digital journal designer. We are excited to keep working on this uh, in the future. And now when we talk about pricing, you see now uh, I picked all the all the options in the digital journal designer. Um, these prices might vary and might change in the future, but I tried to make it as dynamic as possible. So for example, if you don't need all these extra things, it will also be reflected in the price down there. I got some requests during the beta phase to actually make an option to get a 100% discount. This means to get a subscription model. So it's up to you. Maybe you just need one digital journal per year. So like it was before, you can order the version you like um, it's the same price it was before when you order it this way. But if you want to have several options or you want to play around or you want to have access to the future features into the, in the digital journal, um, we have a subscription model that allows you to sign up for a one year subscription to get free access to the digital journal designer, but you will also get access to the paperless movement forum so you can now start to write in there and you also get access to the premium blog posts I offer to learn how to go paperless. So that's all included in the yearly subscription. But this yearly subscription also includes the additions you can buy for the digital journal, like the digital stickers. You saw this quickly in the in the trailer as well. So for example, these uh, sticky notes collections, and I can tell you there's a lot more to come. Um, there's a lot more to come that we will add here. And the template packs. So you also have template packs that you can add. You saw this in the trailer as well, where you have loads of different options of templates that you can add. And you all see, you can see they all have a price. 
and they will be included if you're an annual subscription member. If you're an inner circle member, which is the higher tier of the subscription model, uh, it will also include all the online courses, my webinars, my direct access to me as a consultant and all these things. However, we made sure that there are two different options you can choose from to pick the right one that is right for you. I can tell you, I'm really excited. So if you want to stay tuned, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and tell your friends about that the digital journal designer exists because, you know, looking around at Etsy and looking for all the digital journals available there, we are really working on it to make it as personal as possible for your needs. Stay tuned and I see you next time.